Hey guys, what's up? Caleb down here with Breek Arms, and today we're gonna go over our Plan B muzzle devices and mounts. Let's get into it. All right, so Plan B, what is it? It's a mounting system. I believe, don't quote me on this, I believe it was made by Q back in the day. They're the ones that engineered it and designed it. It's pretty much open source now to where anybody can really make these mounts and give their own little flare and fling on it. In essence, the design is built around a taper mount behind which there are threads, right? The beautiful system about this is the tapers are in front of these threads, which means that the thread should not ever get carbon locked. This should never really get impossible to remove your suppressor from your muzzle device. It's very, very simplistic. There's no ratcheting or pieces really to wear out. It's a simple taper and thread design. So we have our own spin on it. We have a couple different designs here we'll go over and we have our own hub compatible mount. All right, so first off, let's go over the hub one. This is the mount. This is the piece that goes into your suppressor and allows you to utilize this system. This is hub compatible, meaning these threads back here are one and three eighths by 24 or 1.375 by 24. It's the same difference, but it's the hub standard, which most or many at least, but most suppressors nowadays, if they're gonna have interchangeable mounting systems, they're gonna go with hub, most of them. Not all of them, but if your suppressor is hub compatible, this will fit. And this mount, this hub one, will also fit any other plan B muzzle device. Not just ours that we make, but other companies out there. Since we did not engineer design this mount by ourselves, we didn't do that, we just put our own fling on it. These will be compatible not only the muzzle, device, muzzle devices to other mounts, but also mounts to other muzzle devices, if that makes sense. It's all cross compatible. Let's leave it that way, it's cross compatible. The Hub One is extremely lightweight, coming in at only 1.3 ounces. The way we got away by doing that is by making it out of titanium. So it's very strong, very lightweight. It's only going to add about a quarter of an inch to your overall length, meaning you are not adding, you do not have to add a lot of length to your barrel or suppressor or either one of those things to, ha to when you add our system. It's very, very small, very, very short in the back. Not like some other mounts that have larger ratcheting systems on them, which we do make some of those and they have their own place. But this for minimalist design, this is very, very short, very, very compact. For coating on the Hub One, we decided to go with a black DLC. This is going to give you a very hard and tough finish. Moving on to our muzzle devices, we have two flash hider designs and one brake design. It's a micro small brake. The brake is called the Echo Brake, and it has two ports on top, one single pass-through port on the sides, and obviously your front port right there. You gotta have a front port or else that's not gonna work. But anyway, we got two flash hiders. We have the Sentinel and the Scorch. One of these, the longer one right here, is actually designed with a cutout on the bottom already for you, ready to go for pinning and welding your 14.5s and bringing them up to 16 inch length. Maybe we won't even have to worry about that later on in the future, but we added it for your convenience. As we mentioned earlier, each one of these muzzle devices will come with a peel washer. This is not a crush washer. Don't be using crush washers with your muzzle devices for suppressors. You're gonna get alignment issues and that's not very good. Peel washers are different. They are flat and they're made up of a bunch of teeny tiny little basically shims, you could call it, all pressed together to make one unit. You, what you basically are going to need to do is figure out what size you're going to need by taking your peel washer, place it on the muzzle, thread your muzzle device on. If it doesn't need to be timed, if it's like the three prong flash hider, that doesn't need to be timed at all. Just crank it down. I would recommend putting some blue Loctite on it just to make sure it's seated. If it does need to be timed, like our uh, brake right here, you're going to need to peel the washer, which is not very hard to do. You just simply need to use a knife, use a tool, use something, don't cut yourself, and peel off a layer or two at a time until you get the appropriate length, and then you'll be able to thread on. Again, use a little blue Loctite. That's what I recommend and thread that sucker right on. As far as mounting the suppressor to the firearm, it's very, very simple. It's kind of direct thread, kind of QD. It's not quite as many threads as a 5 8 or a half by 28. It's a few spins. Get it nice and snug. I would not recommend really wrenching this thing down. The beautiful thing about tapered mounts is it takes more effort to undo the suppressor than when you put it on originally. So there's, there's, a, there's a value there, there's a mathematical equation as far as how many pounds it takes to tighten it and then how many pounds it takes to loosen it. 
just get it snug and then when you're ready to take it off, you can take it off, all right? It's very, very simple. If you do happen to get it locked on there like really tight, you do have exposed flats back here where you can put a wrench on both the muzzle device and the mount, bust it loose, go opposite directions, and you'll be good to go as far as separating it if you happen to somehow get this guy stuck on there. Don't over tighten it, that's the key. Don't over tighten it. If you want a system that is a little bit quicker than to take on and take off than the plan B, you can go ahead and check out our Break Lock. That is kind of a hybrid between a tri-lug and a ratcheting system. It's really cool. It does add a little bit more length, but you are it's a quick on, quick off system, not a semi-direct thread like the plan B. Different options for you, and we have both of them available. Like you saw in install, you can use a crescent wrench or a Chinese you fit them all, whatever you want to call these things. You can use whatever tools you need to use to mount these. Or if you want specific tools, you can check out our specifically made tool for the plan B. I'll hit it one more time. These are hub compatible, meaning they are going to be compatible with any hub can that is going to be out there. And since this is plan B and this is a relatively open source mounting style, these mounts and muzzle devices are going to be interchangeable with other companies' mounts and muzzle devices. Like all of our products made here at Break Arms, these are designed and manufactured right here in the United States and are backed by our 100% lifetime defect warranty. Once again, guys, this is Caleb Downing with Breek Arms. If you have any questions and we didn't hit something that you want answered, go reach out to us at sales at breekarms.com and check out our website if you're not already here at breekarms.com.